that one down. And the old one down? That's not nailed down. Which one? Good morning everybody, Randy here from Jacob's Triangle and we're back out here working on plumbing again. What we're doing today is we're going to connect all of our three inch lines to our fixtures and then hopefully we're also going to get everything dumped into our four inch line that's going to go out from underneath the house. Something else that we're going to do today, I discovered that our setup that we did for the washroom, the washer actually, in the utility room is wrong. So instead of waiting for the inspector to come out and look at it and tell us that it's wrong, we're going to go ahead and fix that today also. So let's go ahead and get started now. All right, we're getting ready to do our first connections and I was going to lay a string out across the floor so I could start putting my blocks in. These blocks that I cut off earlier, it's going to put them in like that so that I would have a place to hang my uh, pipe hangers from. But when I started to put my string in, I realized that this concrete support wall is in the way. So my plan of going right straight down the house had to change. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to go with the 45 out of the back bathroom and I'm going to run it over to the beam over here and then do another 45 and then I'm going to run the pipe along that beam. So I'm not going to have to use all of my blocks over here. I'm hooked. There we go. I'm hooked. So I cut me a stub piece that I'm going to, don't fall off there, that I'm going to put into the back bathroom connection back here. And then on the end of that is going to be my 45. Once I get that, I'm going to dry fit that because I have to, of course, we're working on sewer, so we have to get our fall all right. So I'll dry fit that, get my measurement for my pipe that's going to go over to the support beam over here, and cut that, and then I will get everything glued up from there. Okay, we're getting ready to glue in the long piece here and as you can see we've got it suspended from some um, motorcycle toast or tie down straps and what we got here is we got it suspended in such a way that it just just fits in there so hopefully we'll be able to get glue on this twist it shove it in there and get it glued in quickly and easily without having to fuss with it too much. <laughs> Found a place to set the camera, so here we go. We're going to do our glue up. <laughs> glue over here. Okay, here comes the moment of the truth. Okay, ready babe? Got to shove and then twist. Shove, twist. Oh my god, that was too easy, too perfect. Okay, just hold it. 30 seconds or so. It went right in? It went right in. It's like we planned it that way. <laughs> okay, we're good. That worked too good. Okay, now I also used the straps to hold the pipe in place while I set my hangers for the, oops, come on, while I set my hangers to hold the pipe in place, or I used the, the straps to hold the pipe in place so I can get my hangers placed so I could, there we go, 
get them done. And that way, there we go. Okay, now the pipe has. Bubble. There we go. We have a quarter inch fall per foot and it's held in place while I did the hangers. And let's go. There we go. We're all good. And our level falls. A little idea that my dad gave me. I think my brother helped come up with the idea too. But it just helps hold everything in place so you can get your hangers in. So this pipe is now hung. I've got to put my 1 8 bend on the corner and then we're going to go down to where we're going to catch the 4 inch pipe. We're almost done for the day. Okay. Why are you throwing things at me? Pulling off, I think it gives me more time to work with my glue ups. Okay, my level. Just like this. Come on, come on. All the way. Is that the only thing that's not nailed down? Well, I don't know. That's the only one I've noticed. Oh. Put that guy in your spot. Where? Over here, on the other side of me. I think this line has taken us down far enough that I think we're past where we need to be to catch the four inch line that's going to go out to the street. So I think we're both pretty tired, we're pretty beat. It's been a long day, not necessarily a highly productive day, but it's been a long day. I think we're going to call it a day and we'll come back and work on the other bathroom, utility room and the kitchen sink um, next time. So, if you like this video, we gave you some ideas maybe, you know, using the straps to hold things in place while you glue things up and get your hangers in place. I think that's a pretty good idea. Pros may not necessarily agree with it, but it works. So if you like that idea and other ideas that I've shown here, um, you can hit the subscribe button down there. Let's see, we're over here. Down there, hit my face up there, 
hit the bell down there to get notifications when I make new videos. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you like the video and feel free to leave me a comment. Until next time, I'll see you then.